Hello, I'm Tim. Welcome to this tutorial on how to use SketchUp in comics for backgrounds. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. That's what the tutorial is about. Okay, so here you have a comic page. As you can see, this background right here is only sketched out, and we don't want it to do that, like set up perspective grids and vanishing points and you know all that shit. Cause I mean, it takes time, it takes tons of time and you know sometimes it looks better if you just do it in 3d so that's what we're gonna do okay and because I'm such a good host I have prepared a thing in advance so I, I could go over how to do this real quick but I mean there's tons of better tutorials on you know, how do you sketch up I'm not very good at it I just use the very basics so I'm just going to be going over how to how to use it, how to get into Photoshop with it, and how to you know place it, how to do the things. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is you know find the angle that you had in your sketch. So it's kind of like it's like downwards angle, like below the horizon line. You see the gate here, and there's a guy stepping out of there. So what we do is we zoom in here and try to angle it up just right. Something like that, maybe? I like the more accurate the building is to your sketch, the easier it's going to be to find what you want. So once you have the angle you want set up nice and angled, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to the camera options right here. And SketchUp has a field of view option, has zooming options and orbiting and you know all that stuff. You probably know if you use SketchUp. I don't know. We can also switch to two point perspective. And what that does is all the vertical lines become perpendicular. And it just makes it a whole lot easier to work with most of the times. And when you're in two-point perspective, you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can pan, but you cannot orbit, because then it'll go back into three-point, which is the default. And field of view basically just adjusts the field of view. So you get a way dramatic angle, or you can get a nice, almost isometric looking angle. You can also change it with like numbers if you tap on your keyboard down here. 35 is a good one. I like 35. But if two-point perspective works, it's always going to be easier to work on top of that. Because, you know, three-point is more complicated than two-point. <clears throat> okay, so, getting into Photoshop. The quick and easy option is to just hold down Control-Shift-Print-Screen, which is going to print screen to your clipboard. So when you go into Photoshop, show on the right layer here, you can just paste that right in there. And if you have two monitors, your other monitor is going to show up too. That's fine. And then you can just kind of slide this into frame here. Then just crop out what you don't want. And, you know, it's quick, it's easy. You can adjust it inside the frame too, just so you can get that sweet spot with the composition where it all looks good and you can read the text and, you know, nothing gets cut out, but everything's nice and in frame. That's the quick option. The slow option, but it gets you a little better results, is going to export. And then you can export it as a 2D graphic. Right here. But if you export it like just straight away, it's only gonna export as the same size as your monitor. If that makes sense. Like say your monitor is 1920 by 1080, then that's the size it's gonna export as. So what you want to do is you want to go into options right here and then you can set these the way you want. Like you can set them huge, you can set them any size. <clears throat> and it's going to look way better cuz by default it's use view size. And that's, you know, 1844 by 1011. And and anti-aliasing is good most of the time. You want to probably use that. Transparent backgrounds is good if you want to change the background color and you know have a little more options with, it, but 
for what I'm using it for right now. I don't care. And you can just export that. And it will be a nice, a nice and pretty export. Might take a while. Let's see if this ends up here. Yeah, there you go. Nice and pretty. You can zoom in real far. It's just, it's wonderful. But we don't need that right now. <clears throat> so let's go back to our Photoshop. Because, you know, I've been such a good host and I've prepared a thing from before just so, you know, I wouldn't fuck up when I try to draw because that's going to take forever. So basically what I do is I have my SketchUp model on one layer. Just kind of reduce the opacity like this. And then what I do is I just trace that. I just trace that shit. Saves tons of time. Unless you have any details that you want to add, then you can, you know, add those. <clears throat> so basically I have my, you know, my tracing here, and then I just put details down on top of that, and put characters in. And I put tones in, and then color. And it just looks totally alright. No judgments here. So of course this is kind of a... I wouldn't say it's a cheat. It's more of a shortcut, and like I've been meaning to make a video on this. The uh, difference between a shortcut and a cheat is that if you cheat, then you don't really have to know what you're doing. You can just do it anyway. But this is a shortcut, and therefore you kind of need to know what you're doing, and it just makes it faster. Good example is, say you're milking a cow. <laughs> And you have a mechanical cow milker that just does it for you if you use it correctly. So you're like, oh, that's a nice shortcut. But it's not a cheat, because if you don't use it correctly, then you don't get any milk, and the cow dies, and you fucked up your entire life. Now you gotta go home and work at your dad's accounting firm, you piece of shit. Uh, yeah, that's how you use SketchUp for backgrounds in comics. I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments, and I have a Patreon if you want to check that out, and subscribe on YouTube. Probably more tutorials sooner or later. Yeah, see you later. Bye.